Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our daily get, no, not our daily, our morning get together live here on Facebook, where we examine headlines from Mexico, from our state, Jalisco, from Puerto Vallarta, from the region. We take a look at your comments, ideas, and suggestions on how to have an awesome life here in Puerto Vallarta as a community of English speaking locals. As always, it is a pleasure to get together with you every morning, except for Sundays. And, uh, and just see how everybody's doing. And we have a bunch of important things to talk about today, but we are going to start with two important announcements. Number one, it is Wednesday, but it is not Walking Wednesday. We ran into an unexpected glitch and we won't walk until Friday. My apologies, but we will walk. We will walk this week and I'm sure you're gonna love it. Uh, so please uh, sit tight. Don't put on your sneakers uh, just yet. We're going to have other things to talk about that are just as important. And um, <clears throat> the second announcement that I want to make, and this has to do with some of the conversation that I would love to um, to uh, inspire uh, in the second half of the broadcast, has to do with this message that I sent to uh, a dear friend that lives nearby uh, this morning, I wrote to her, wanted a temperature control public venue in our vicinity other than Kublis or Carl's Jr., where one can hang out and drink coffee or wine and maybe nosh while one engages in conversation or crochet or reading. You see, last summer we had no choice but to stay at home. And this summer, yes, our guideline is to stay at home and to not go out as much as we have to, but vaccination is starting to happen, and uh, before COVID, many of us engaged in the humble Puerto Vallarta sport of finding cool temperature control places to hang out and not loiter, but you know, just take a break from the from the heat and take a break from our home. So I'm hoping that we can have a conversation about this. How are you feeling about going out? How are you? Where where are you going here in town? to stay refreshed, where you can just chill and not be in so much of a hurry. And of course, still feel safe as far as the, the, the health guidelines are concerned. But we'll wait until the second half of the broadcast to get into that. We have some news about vaccination. We have some news about trash. Um, or maybe they're, they're, I don't know if they're news or not, but we'll get to that. We have news about Kamala Harris's um, uh, uh, Kamala Harris's visit to Mexico. Uh, I'm schwitzing. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we have news about Canada flights or lack of thereof. And we have more methods to brew your iced coffee. Like we need more. But hey, you never know. We might discover something new. So let's get the show on the road. For starters, I want to let you know that the first day of vaccination for folks in their 40s went very smoothly, according to this article that we're referencing. And of course, several accounts from friends and acquaintances. Congratulations, Logan. Yay. 
<clears throat> there are now a total of 30,000 AstraZeneca vaccines to be distributed during this campaign that continues until the 11th. So if you are between 40 and 49 years of age, you can get your vaccine between today and Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at La Lija and apparently also at the Naval Hospital, which was previously used only for pregnant women. Um, if anybody went to get a vaccine in the Naval Hospital that was not pregnant, <laughs> please let us know so that we can confirm this fact because the information has been sketchy about this. And remember to pre-register so you can print and fill out your vaccination form ahead of time. We will leave the registration website on the screen when I'm looking all nice and pretty and large. Let me find it so that we can turn it on and follow suit. There you go. Okay, so we're going to keep that up there in case you haven't read, um, <laughs> you haven't gotten the memo. Go get vaccinated. This is important. Now, Moving on with our headlines, let us hope this is just a coincidence, but according to this news article from Noti Espacio PV, trash collection in Puerto Vallarta stopped right as the local government lost the elections to a different political party. Could this be even possible? Has trash been collected in your neighborhood in the past three days, or is this news note meant to simply stir the political pot? I'm actually not sure. But uh, do let me know if, if you look out your window at places where trash is supposed to be collected, if it's piling up or not. Let us hope this is just a coincidence. Um, but I was intrigued when I saw this in, in the news this morning. I also want to tell you a little bit about um, the visit that uh, uh, Vice, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris had in Mexico City with Mexico President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. According to his Twitter account, he announced that the meeting with her was transcendental, beneficial to both countries, and very pleasant. Uh, Lopez Obrador met with Harris at the Palacio Nacional in Mexico City, where they, along with their teams, analyzed how to mitigate illegal migration heading north of the border. And there were other items in their agenda, including um, they also discussed uh, COVID-19, they discussed human trafficking, and the United States-Mexico-Canada agreement with both nations making a commitment to share information and intelligence to identify, interrupt, and dismantle contraband networks in Mexico. How about that? So let us hope that good things will come out of this particular meeting that took place. And uh, let us dive into our weather. And I'm keeping my fan on just because it is warm. <laughs> have you ever noticed weathermen always have expensive sports cars? I think they're compensating for something. I think they're compensating for lack of companionship. Note to self, I should find myself a weatherman boyfriend because I would love to have an expensive sports car. But what do we care about that? We care about the weather. It is 29 degrees already at this time. It feels like 32. Humidity is um, at 63%, and our temperature in Fahrenheit is 85 degrees. No chance of precipitation today. And our forecast for today, it calls for a humid and partly cloudy day, high temperature of 32 low temperature of 24. This means that it's only 20 to 11, and we're already two degrees lower than our hottest weather. So it's early in the day, and it's already hot, hot, hot. Tomorrow, Thursday, we can expect another humid day, high temperature of 32, low temperature of 24. And Friday, humid and partly cloudy, with a high temperature of 32, low temperature of 24. Ah, it is hot. It feels hot. Anyhow, moving right along with the rest of our headlines before we get into our chit chat section. Where are all the flights from Canada? Even though Canada has opened up flights to Mexico, uh, only one Canadian airline has followed suit. And some think this may have to do with Canadian travelers being fearful of flying to a country 
where COVID vaccination is not going as fast as elsewhere. I'm not sure about that because I'm not informed about this, but this is what I read. To date, the only Canadian airline that has resumed operations is WestJet with a Saturday connection between Calgary and Puerto Vallarta. Air Canada is scheduled to resume Vancouver to Puerto Vallarta on August 1st, but other airlines such as Transat, Sungwing, and Swoop, yes, there is an airline called Swoop, are not expected to resume their operations until the fall. I did read elsewhere that the United States changed their travel advisory to Mexico from don't even think about it to think about it. So keep that in mind. And now let us talk a little bit about political trash. You see, what do we do with all these banners? What do we do with all these painted walls? Well, by the book, each political party is responsible for removing them. They're responsible for getting rid of all this vinyl, and they're responsible for repainting all the walls that they painted. Um, and we know that this will take forever, if at all. Another article that I read yesterday afternoon suggests that banners, such as this one in the photograph, are ours to take if we want, since we paid for them with our taxes. And I know of at least one person or group out there that repurposes them into convenient shopping bags. I know this because I have a couple of these that were made with Restaurant Week banners from when I used to work at Vallarta Lifestyles. We used to put our own banners or hire a company to put our banners up in the, in the city. And then we removed them ourselves and restaurants returned their banners to us and to the company. And of course, we sent them out to have them repurposed into shopping bags. So uh, let us hope that all this unused vinyl will be repurposed somehow. And my last news item for you today has to do again with cold brew. This is something that I found on Huffington Post this morning. I've been mentioning my iced coffee for several weeks now, and since it's that time of the year, I came across this article about the best tools for making cold brew coffee, according to the experts. I must say I have my method all figured out, but I will take a look at the article and think, and I also think that some of you might uh, be interested in this. And this is a perfect cue to continue with our broadcast and our exploration of temperature control places to stay cool. So that was our formal bit of uh, news today. Let me now rewind the comment tape. I call it a tape. It is not a tape, but you know, you know what it is. Um, and take a look at who's here, who is not here. Um, I think we can cut the blow for a second so that we can take a look at your comments and see who's in the house. Uh, David, thank you very much for that, Dave. Uh, Whimsical Wednesday is more like it today. No walking Wednesday, I'm afraid. Um, is it possible that there is a place more humid and more warm than Puerto Vallarta right now? I don't even want to think about it. Uh, but good morning, Dan. It's great to see you. Um, uh, Oh, Jill, I wish I could. I wish I could. And I'm sorry, we'll, we will we'll walk away on Friday. In the meantime, I'm looking forward to the rest of your comments and seeing if anybody has any suggestions for places where we can go and sit down. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I had an awesome bike ride as part of it was behind Ghetto Blaster Gabe. That sounds like fun. I wish I could have an awesome bike ride, but I don't even have a bicycle. I don't even have a place to store one, but I would love to ride again. Uh, there is Logan, all vaccinated. I am so very glad to hear about that, my dear friend, and also anybody else that went and got pricked yesterday. I hope you're not feeling unusually tired. I, I slept a lot. Um, my sister's in the house, hermanita. Mwah! I love you. Uh, let's see what else. Stephanie recalls or meant, uh, brings up the sound of Mexico are saying buenos dias this morning, roosters crowing, birds singing, dogs barking, and construction trucks doing their thing. I think you are forgetting something really important. El panadero con el pan. El panadero con el pan. There you go. Uh, let's see. Christy suggests a living room in the marina. I would think that is an awesome place to hang out. Uh, thank you very much for that. Um, and you see, okay, now that we're starting to get to the comments in, in about, about hanging out. See, 
last year it was like even it was not even an option uh, because it was just really nasty out there. But this year, I'm you know as much as I enjoy being at home, it's like some days I'm like, okay, I need a change of pace. I personally love the the living room, um, not the living room in the marina. The oh my god, what is it called? Oh, brain fart. Um, Oh my God! Well, it'll come to me right across from uh, Lazaro Cardenas Park. Um, I love it there. I love it there, but it's all the way over there. Um, and I know you know the name of the place, and it just escapes my silly brain, and it'll come back to me in a second. Uh, but I'm wondering how you guys are feeling about going places and hanging out, and do you feel threatened or not, um, so forth and so on. A good place. To stay cool in the afternoon is with Gaspar at La Margarita. I would imagine that is a good place. La Margarita being in Emiliano Zapata, yes. Uh, no, you didn't. Mihal says that she ran naked in the streets just after midnight. You did not. I want to see photos. I don't need to see the explicit body parts, but I don't believe you did that. <laughs> but that is very funny, though. Um... Shave, put on a wig, stuff a pillow in your shirt. I don't need that. And to, and to, to, to navel for vax. Oh, 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 to, to simulate pregnancy. Oh, okay. Okay, sure. Why not? That was kind of funny. Uh, Julie reports that trash is being picked up in Colonia Lazaro Cárdenas and that Trash is gone in Las Aralias. Thank you very much, Catherine. Um, hopefully, again, that was just like alarmist propaganda. Um, see, sometimes I don't know about these these lock these local news outlets. El Centro is garbage free. It's good to know. Uh, see, that was probably just a false false alarm. Linda says, "Where is Amlo's mask? Glad Kamala protected him and herself. Not a pie, Paco. Just an observation." Well, I don't feel like I'm being pied. Um, I read articles about, and, and I don't mean to pie you back, Linda. I read articles about uh, about President Lopez Obrador calling her Kabbalah instead of Kamala. I read articles of about him not wearing a face mask and she wearing a face mask. I also read articles about him calling her president instead of vice president. Honestly... I'm not as concerned about such, in my opinion, petty situations. I am concerned about the outcome. So where is Amlos's mask? Who cares? What do I care for? I care for changes, positive changes in the policies between the two countries respectfully. Um, Heather asks, when does the new mayor take office? I mentioned that date a couple of days ago. It's coming up, I think, in August. I'm not sure. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have the answer, but we, we, we talked about this a couple of days. It's, I think it's in, in, in August, and then the deputies start one month later, something like that. Um, let's see what else... Today, it was announced that those arriving in Canada who are fully vaccinated no longer need to quarantine. Good to know. Uh, buenos dias, Tocayo. It's great to see you. Uh, another one of these news items about Canadians. This is great news because I know that going north and returning to Canada has been really complicated logistically more than anything else. Um, I finally made it back and alive. Janice, I hope you were not abducted. And if you were abducted, I hope you took good photographs. That's not even funny. I meant abducted by aliens, if you believe in aliens. Um, let's see. Lena says, we're still dealing with 14-day quarantine, so that is my reluctance to travel. I do have reservations for October, November, and I'm just waiting on the other airlines to start up flying to Puerto Vallarta, especially Swoop. <laughs> That's going to stay with me. Welcome to Swoop. Um, let's see what else. Brett, see, I am thinking the same way you are. You, well, you're fully vaccinated. I'm not, but you're fine going out. I find that the Pacific coast of Mexico often has a breeze to cool you down, but it disappears about a block inland. Uh, similarly here. Uh, still, there's something to be said for sitting on the beach at Cuates y Cuetes, sipping a beer and having some botanas on a hot and humid summer day. I will agree with you. And that is lovely until the breeze 
stops. And some days, um, uh, some days it does, and it feels really unbearable. Clive, it's so nice to see you, and thank you for sharing your your uh, your experience at uh, the pizzeria uh, Il Fiamma. And uh, I have already scheduled a visit. I'm going to be there on Saturday with my dear friend Sandy. We're going to go check it out, but I trust your remarks. I'm sure that it's going to be wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for nurturing our knowledge of our own city. You see, this is not so much about the research that I do, although I love doing the research, but your contributions to what we must consider enjoying here in Puerto Vallarta are so, so important. Thank you so very much for that. Um, are iced coffee and cold brew the same thing? I usually like my coffee like mm, I like my men hot and black. Too much information. Um, let's see what else. Tokayo, I'm coming to PV. Are the mosquitoes here now? Oh, of course. They're part of their annual mosquito convention. And, um, and uh, yes, they are here. They love it. They love it. Uh, let's see what else we have. It's not so hot in Nuevo Vallarta today. That's good to hear. Uh, Gina asks, have you tried Dalgona coffee? Um, I have not. I'm not sure that uh, this has to do with a coffee brand or a coffee place, but I will Google it as soon as the broadcast is over. Um, <laughs> my sister says that the broadcast is not good today. I hope this is not generalized. Uh, for everyone, uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, another remark about mosquitoes. I'm sure they never leave their indigenous to PV. Absolutely. Um, enjoyed a day at the Botanical Gardens yesterday. Good for you. Indeed, heading up to the mountains um, is the... Ah, there you go. Thank you very much for rescuing me. That was my brain fart, a page in the sun. I love a page in the sun. This is like if I am in Emiliano Zapata and I'm schlepping my crochet with me, it's it's a great place to sit. No, I don't loiter. I consume slowly. I must say I order my iced coffee and then when I see that my iced coffee is running out, I'll order a seltzer and a piece of bread. And I'm, that's not me being cheeky or anything. I mean, I like to consume when I go out if I'm looking for a place to stay cool. And a page in the sun is divine. My only challenge with a page in the sun is that it's all the way, all the way on the other side of the city. And I sound like I'm exaggerating, but what can I tell you? You get used to your surroundings just as much as many of you folks in Emiliano Zapata love your digs. Those of us that are on this side of the city love ours. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else we have. Dave is still not interested in hang out inside anywhere, maybe one day, hopefully. We all have our comfort levels to deal with. So this is kind of like what, what I'm, I'm looking for. You know, where is your comfort level these days? Oh, of course, I forgot to mention this. Costco. <laughs> Costco has set up their tables again. I saw many photographs of this. You, don't, you, you know the pandemic is not over. I saw uh, 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 one of those illustrations. Until Costco allows you to sit down inside and enjoy their hot dogs. I understand that Costco has started doing this again. I must say I'm a sucker for a good hot dog at Costco. I will have to try that at some point. Um, yes, there are more mosquitoes in the summer. How do I know? Because they love me. I'll tell you, Kathleen, they'd love me too, but I don't want to talk about it because that will just get them going. Uh, Jorge, you get everywhere. You know, sometimes you're in New York, sometimes you're in Florida, and now you're in Texas, you worldly man. Yeehaw, indeed. Um, let's see. Need breezes because still avoiding the indoors and air conditioning. I hear you. It's um, it's it's a challenging one, Heather. And then add to the mix. We were conversing, a friend of mine and I, this morning, that even some places that have air conditioning, you know, they won't turn it on because, you know, it's been difficult for everyone financially. And, you know, air conditioning can be very expensive. So it is a tough one. But again, regardless of our comfort level, one of our favorite sports uh, here in Puerto Vallarta during the summer months is where do we go to feel refreshed? Of course, this year we need to add to that mix. Where do we go to feel refreshed and still feel safe from the pandemic? Um, Terry says iced coffee is not the same as cold brew. Uh, fair enough. 
I just know that what I drink the morning this morning is cold and um, and it's yummy. So what can I tell you? Um, again, I'm just happy with the way I drink it, but I will research. I will research. Um, pam 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 pam. I agree, Paco. Why focus on the petty details of what they wore? Let's get some results. I love Kamala. She'll be president one day. She deserves it. Well, you know, James, I'm not going to be completely innocent here. Of course, I love the shady articles. Um, and of course, I am drawn to, you know, the superficial commentary. But again, the invitation here is to keep things balanced. And yes, we can we can throw some shade when when it's appropriate but the important thing here would be you know the results so i'm totally on the same page as you are paco please send a saludo for my mom maria doña pola doña pola como esta cuando nos va a venir a visitar porque aquí la esperamos con nuestros brazos abiertos there you go that was a beautiful hello um i hope doña pola speaks spanish <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, everybody loves Doña Pola. There you go. Uh, there's another one. Doña Pola, Doña Pola. Aliens might be better than the States right now. Okay. Okay. Yes. I just ordered another cold beer when the breeze stops. Good enough. But you see what happens is that you can only smoke so much dope and drink so much alcohol before, if you're sitting around crocheting, as I have, you know, your stitches start getting a little wonky, let me tell you. Sometimes I've gotten high, and I thought I was progressing on a project, and then the morning after, I look at what I had been crocheting, and I was like, Paco, really? No, 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 not a good idea. Um, let's see what else. Rob says, miss you, Paco and Cluster. Been a while since I could watch live. It's great to see you. Uh, can't wait until my annual Puerto Vallarta trip in August. I hope that your trip will be scheduled eventfully. I mean, uneventfully. What am I saying? Let's see what else we have. Joey, I am so glad that you're still here because I'm going to make an important announcement that has to do with you in just a few minutes. I'm going to save that until the end of the broadcast. Um <clears throat> El Solar on beach under an umbrella with a breeze. See, the breeze is the factor. If we can be guaranteed a breeze when we go to the beach, I'm fine. But it's for those days when 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 you cannot be guaranteed that. Uh, oh, okay. So so we now know that that our saluti, Doña Pola speaks Spanish. Doña Pola. Doña Pola. Okay, and with that little dance, we are at the end of this broadcast. I have an unofficial announcement because it's not my place to make an official announcement about this. But if you are gay or LGBT friendly in any way, shape, or form um, here in Puerto Vallarta, Today, I am getting together with um, a friend of mine who knows owns a business here in Colonia Versailles, my friend Agustin. He owns La Gallega, which is a very beautiful little tapas bar in, in Versailles. And apparently, Agustin has received a permit from the city to organize a special gay pride party for the Colonia Versailles to take place this will be a block party to take place on the 26th of this month. This is on a Saturday. He's asked me to come and hang out with him and, and share some logistical ideas and this, that, and the other. So I am going to go and meet with him this afternoon and see how we can make this event happen and take off successfully. I mentioned this to Joey a second ago just because... Um, of course, Joey and Isaac have Gay Guide PV, and they will want to be interested in learning details about this so that they can broadcast it to the community. And this is what we have for today. My Tokayo asks, when are we walking around the city? Hopefully tomorrow, if not Friday, at the latest. And um, let's see what else we have. I think this is it. So we're done with today's broadcast. As always, if you were amused and inspired and enlightened, uh, in any way, please consider the link above. 
Again, I apologize for the lack of walking tour today. We will have one on Thursday or Friday at the latest. And again, thank you for your company, for your comments, and for your inspiration. Have an awesome day. Stay in touch, and I will see you sometime soon.